Sidewalk. Fellow brothers and sisters, from Africa to Asia, to North and South America, to the Caribbean, to Madagascar, and to Australia. As you all know, the God has been using me mightily. God has been doing mighty and great things as I gave you the prophetic word last year that God was going to take me internationally, all around the nations, as he did in the USA. When I left the US almost a week and a half ago, I was in North Africa, Morocco, Casablanca, did some work for God there. I'm right here now in West Africa, Cameroon, also doing the work of God. And I'm prepared to go to East Africa and all around. I really want to thank everyone that's supporting. I know you're supporting because God is telling you to do so. So I'm here live, right in the motherland. This is where I grew up. 15 years ago when I left the US, this is the place and I'm back. This is Yaoundé. Yaoundé is the capital of Cameroon. As I gave the prophetic word, I gave you three prophetic words all around. There will be a change in the government in Cameroon. There will be a change. There will be a new ruler coming by God's power, like Joseph. I told you guys, and I'm repeating the prophecy again. If you guys don't know what Cameroon, where Cameroon is, it's a French and speaking country with a little bit of German, with a lot of dialects, where people here are very hardworking. And yet so many of them are in bondage. But there will be change. I am telling you the truth. I am prophesying to you. There will be change in Africa. All around Africa, Africa is going to be the motto, the car to drive the new civilization. As you can see, this is the flag of Cameroon. This is my country. Just as the United States is my country, I have two homes. And I'm so happy to be here. So, fellow brothers and sisters, I'm telling you now, from the north, east, west, and south in this place, I get the prophetic word and I'm here live, giving it again. There will be a change. In the government, I see the Lord removing old metal and bringing new metal. That means new beginnings and a new start. So I call on the whole world to pray, specifically for Africa. There will be a change and a radical transformation. The word of God has gone forth unto the glory of God. Shalom.